So this video is on the cleaning and daily maintenance of your TurboChef waterless steamer. To begin cleaning your oven, make sure that it's in the off position and it reads ready to clean on the display. You start disassembling by removing the back air filter and that just slides either left or right side. Then I'm going to open the door and lift the rack out. To, to remove the rack, I'm going to lift up the back and pull straight up, then out. Next, the bottom jet plate and air diverter, lift and pull. This oven also has a return airflow filter in the rear of the oven. To remove that, there's a tab. You lift that up, uh, tip out the bottom, pull down, and away. Also, it has the bottom chin, which will close the door, lift up, and, and pull. All these parts will be taken to the dish room. They'll be cleaned using the methods that we prescribe here on the interior of the oven. Next, we're going to begin cleaning our oven. To start, we'll have a damp rag with Turbo Chef oven cleaner, which will spray directly onto the rag. We don't want to spray into the oven because the air returns on the other side is the catalyst, and we certainly don't want to get anything in there because it may damage the catalyst. So apply the cleaner on all the surfaces of the oven and on the top. But be careful on the top because there's a glass plate. So very light pressure on that. Now because this is a steamer, typically it doesn't have a whole lot of baked on product, so we're not going to have to scrub too hard, so this should suffice. After letting the cleaner sit on for about five minutes, I'm going to take a damp cloth and remove all of the extra chemicals by just wiping down the surface. Again, being careful in the rear and gentle pressure on the top plate. Next, we're going to protect the interior of the oven using Turbo Chef Oven Guard. Just bring that directly onto a towel and liberally on all the surfaces. This will prevent food from adhering and sticking to the surface of the oven and make it much easier to clean the next time around. Don't be afraid to use this liberally. And again, everything that we've done here, we've done on all the interior parts in the back and they're clean and ready to go in. To begin reassembly, we're going to take our clean filter and place it in the back and we're just going to slide it in the track. Next, the interior filter. This will go in the opposite way, by pushing up, then down to lock into place. Next, we're going to take our bottom jet plate and diverter, slide it along the rails, and set down. Next would be the rack. These two pins with these corresponding holes go right in and then see push down and lock into place. Lastly, we'll take our chin. There are two tabs here and here that have a corresponding tab that allows it to sit in place. Next we'll clean, we'll finish cleaning. It's just taking some ordinary glass cleaner on a clean towel and spraying for the display, followed by stainless steel cleaner on a clean towel for all the exterior surfaces to really get them to shine. Now the oven's ready to be turned on and begin service.